Hey everyone, this is Austin with Sun Fun Kits. So today we just want to briefly go over some of the heating options we have available uh, for our kits. I know that this topic seems to come up uh, again and again, but winter's finally here, uh, at least in the northern hemisphere, and people are wanting to use you know various ways to sort of keep their batteries warm so that they can operate them and uh, you know and see you know what they can do to maximize a, uh, you know usage in the cold weather so we want to begin with um sort of our main offering that we have this is our heated battery jacket and it will work with pretty much all of the sun fun kits uh, batteries and kits uh, regardless if you have heating with in or outside of your battery and the great thing about this is it's very simple simple very plug and play um, has a heating element on the bottom of the heating pad and a way to control it. So for the most part, installation on this is extremely simple. Um, you essentially uh, put your battery in, attach the included terminals to the very top of your main lugs. And once you have that, you have this interface which lets you turn it on or off. There is a built-in thermostat on this battery case, so it uh, you can position it. Usually we have it somewhere in the middle, and operation is super simple. Press and hold, and once you do that, you will see that the system is on. There's five modes to this heating jacket. Mode one is our eco mode. It'll try to keep the temperature inside around 60 degrees. Mode two is medium mode, where it will try to keep the temperature inside around 70 degrees. Then mode three is um, high mode, which will try to keep the temperature inside around 80 degrees. These are Fahrenheit units. So whatever the equivalent Celsius, just uh, you'll have to kind of guess. But, you know, estimate would be around 24 degrees Celsius from one, about 30 for number two, and about 35 for number three. Um, then we have two timer modes. So if we go and go to uh, timer mode number four, that's going to keep the battery case in, inside about 70 degrees. And after that, after about 12 hours, it's going to automatically shut off. And then we have timer number five, mode number five, which is basically similar to mode number four. But it's going to keep the uh, uh, timer running for about 24 hours. Um, now, on average, uh, depending on how cold it is, this will draw anywhere uh, from about 100 watts uh, down to about... 20 30 watts and it'll cycle on and off so it's not a continuous on it's going to cycle on and off as needed to maintain uh the temperature so the great thing about this case is you can use it to provide heating well regardless of if your battery is charging or discharging it just provides a nice easy way there's built-in lugs that can handle up to a two watt uh, cable uh, so you should be able to move put that in and have a nice uh, operating you know um, situation the uh, fabric is waterproof fabric, very heavy duty, 1680DN. Uh, so, and it has about a one inch thick insulation. So, plenty of insulation to keep whatever warmth that the system is generating um, inside. And to turn it off, just simply press and hold and it will shut off. So, that's a little bit about the um, heated version of the jacket. All right, so let's say you have a battery that already has built-in heaters uh, and you are just really needing something to protect the battery uh, when it's charging. So in that case, we have just the insulated jacket. Now, this does not have any sort of heating element built into it. And what this will allow you to do is basically uh, give you a nice uh, sort of insulated cover so that you can keep your battery uh, nice and, uh, you know, uh, secure while also giving you the ability to sort of, uh, you know, protect your battery from water and dirt. And um, that will um, basically keep everything uh, nice and clean. And also during charging, whatever heat that your battery generates will stay, stay put. So this serves for both people looking for just a general way to protect their batteries from the elements, as well as people that already have built-in heaters uh, to go ahead and utilize, uh, you know, a nice way to keep that heat in. Uh, understand our batteries, the SFK uh, 300 HP and the two upcoming 275EX, which is not released. It's going to be probably released uh, beginning of 2023. 
Uh, those batteries only turn on heaters when they're charging. So they will not turn their heaters on if it's just cold and it's discharging. And that is by design. Now, um, some people don't like that. So that's where we're going to get into the, into the uh, third option, where if you have a battery with built-in heaters, there's a thing that we just added that may be something that you want to be able to look at, where you can actually use the built-in heaters for both discharging, just maintaining temperature without having to buy a uh, jacket uh, that already has a built-in heating element. So we're going to talk about that next. All right. And look what we have here. So this is an SFK 300 HP. And as you know, this battery has built-in heaters, but it is for low temperature charging. It's not meant to be general use where if you're just saying, hey, uh, it's cold outside. I'm not charging my battery, but I'd still like to keep it warm. So what we've done is we've added the same exact thermal switch that's on our bag onto this battery. Now, this is a very nice thermal switch in that it has it's based, it's a silicone based and it seals very well. So it'll protect any sort of dirt or debris from coming in. Uh, it's not waterproof, so don't submerge their battery, but um, it should allow you to run the heating pads that are built into the SFK 300 HP. Uh, and the two seven, upcoming 275VX, so that even if you're not charging, you can keep the battery's temperature warm. Uh, now, this, coupled with the regular bag that does not have, basically gives the exact same functionality for this, but now you're able to utilize this. So it works very similar. Just like the bag, we can go in and press and hold and turn it on. And again, one is eco mode, just like the bag, It'll warm the battery up if it's cold and keep the internal temperature around 70 degrees. And if you press again, you can go to mode two, which is like I said, around 70. And uh, three is mode number uh, is around 80 degrees internal temperature. Four is 70 degrees with a 12 hour cutoff. And five is 70 degrees with a 24 hour cutoff. So it's very easy to install and we will actually provide this option uh, very soon when buying the SFK 300 HP, if you wanted to have an external switch where you can just turn the heater on, even if you're not charging, and it'll keep the battery warm. Now, let's kind of give you a brief sneak peek of what all is involved. So I know some people have said, I've already bought a 300 HP. I didn't know you could buy this. Well, not a problem. It's a very simple thing where you can install this, it's, or you can actually uh, contact us and we'll, we'll go ahead and sell you a lid with this already installed and you just send back your old lid that you have and we'll do a lid trade and uh, it's going to be a small, not a very, a very reasonable amount for what you get. But let's actually show you the inside with the main difference. All right. So this is the inside of the case. So as you can see, it's uh, just the standard SFK 300 HP. We got our BMS mounted uh, just like it normally is. But some uh, other stuff going on. We have some wires added to the internal terminals. And what that basically is going to do is provide us power. And we have another temperature probe. That is a temperature probe of the thermal switch. So it's going to be reading the temperature inside. Now, we still have the built-in heaters of the BMS. So even if your switch is off and you want to charge during cold weather, you'll be able to run your heating pads based off of the BMS itself. So you retain that low temperature charging functionality exactly the way it is uh, with a standard 300 HP. But now what you have is a way of running the heating pads just through, amp if you just want to turn on the heaters and not necessarily rely on the BMS so that even if you're not actually uh, charging and you're just using your battery and you want to warm it up, you can turn on the heaters and that's going to maintain the temperature of your battery so that it can be used, uh, you know, just to maintain temperature and uh, allow you to have optimal performance of your battery. So basically this added in that case, when I show that in a second, kind of gives you basically a all-in-one solution without having to buy the heated battery jacket. You just basically use the built-in, you know, heaters of your SFK 300 HP. And we'll show that in the next second. All right, so as you can see, we have our SFK 300 HP battery inside of our case, and we have the internal uh, heating pads running even though we're not charging. So if this was cold, which it's about 70 degrees right now, so it's not very cold, 
but if this was cold, your battery would be keeping itself nice and warm and you would not need to have the heated battery jacket, just the standard insulated jacket would be enough because you already have heating elements within your battery. So what this will allow you to do is now, uh, depending on what the situation is, if it's really cold, you can go like to, you know, 80 degree internal temperature and you're just basically going to be using your internal heating pads, uh, even if you're not using them. Now, just be careful, this will be draining your battery. So it's going to drain your battery even if you're not using it. And if you just kind of leave it and forget it, well, in about, maybe depending on how cold it is, the insulated jacket will definitely help, but you may get like four or five days of it just sort of running by itself and not really doing anything. So just be cautious when, when utilizing this. Now, eventually the BMS, when we move to version three of our BMS, we will have the ability to turn the BMS on even if you're not charging. This version of that BMS, the heating was really meant to be a fail safe not really meant to be something that people can utilize just you know for the heck of it saying hey i'd like to just internally warm my battery even though i'm not charging it the whole point of the bms v2 was to prevent lithium damage to lithium cells but a lot of people have said you know it, it doesn't make sense that i cannot use the internal heating pads when i'm not charging i want to be able to warm the battery up regardless and this is a solution that's going to be able to do it it's not going to be very expensive we will sell the kit fairly easy to install but uh on within about a week or so on our website we will give you the option to uh, have this pre-installed it's not going to be too bad you're looking probably in the neighborhood of 50 to 60 dollars to have this pre-installed from us but doing that will let you basically have all this ready to go and you can use the built-in heating pads as needed and uh, that way you can use uh, the heating pads even if you're not charging just to kind of keep the battery warm all right, so that's a little bit about the heating options that we have. Uh, again, you can uh, check out, check us out. Uh, this will the non heated version jacket should be available in about a week. This is already available now. So if you already have a 300 HP or you have a 275 that does not have heating pads and you just want a quick easy way to uh, be able to run the battery and run the heating regardless of what's going on, this is available. Uh, you can buy it and we can have it shipped out. We have plenty of these in stock. Uh, but if you already have 300 HP and you want to be able to do something like this, uh, just check back on the website. The option uh, to buy this conversion kit will be available soon. And once you have that, yeah, you can use your internal heating pads to keep your battery warm, even when you're not charging. All right. Thank you.